on a police dog injured in a shootout early this morning. Right now, there are three armed and dangerous teenagers on the run after that shooting in central Lubbock. And police say a 14-year-old opened fire shooting a canine officer. Hi there, I'm Lauren Moder. It all started with a stolen car and then several robberies. Our Nicolette Perdomo joins us live from the scene of the shooting in central Lubbock. Nicolette, what happened out there? Lauren, the short chase ended here at 42nd Street and Avenue N when police say a teenager fired several rounds at an officer and his police dog. Now the police dog was hit in this shooting and so the officer decided to shoot back hitting the 14 year old. Now Max, the police dog is recovering right now at the vet. He was hit twice, once in the paw and once in the leg. The teenager is also expected to make a full recovery early this morning. Police started receiving calls of a stolen car and then a stolen gun and several robberies at gunpoint within several blocks here at Central Lubbock. Police recovered a stolen gun at the scene. So far, though, there are no leads on the three outstanding suspects, but those who live in this neighborhood say hearing gunshots is a weekly occasion. It makes me real nervous that they're, that they're on the loose and they probably, you know, know where I live. <laughs> Been right here on the corner. Uh, we consider the outstanding suspects armed and dangerous at this time. So we would encourage anyone that uh, after we, they receive the suspect information to uh, call us and let us come out and uh, speak with them, take them into custody. Now the officer is on administrative leave and if you know anything about these suspects, you're encouraged to call Crime Line at 741-1000. For now reporting in Central Lubbock, I'm Nicola Perdomo, KMAC News. Nicolette, thank you. A man who...